Hi friends and welcome to this video. Um, it has been quite a while uh, since I filmed something or no, actually since I uploaded something because I did film a video like two weeks ago and I I have been struggling to upload it because I'm just not happy with the editing and I'm working on the finishing touches I guess and I wanted to wait to film this video and upload that one first but now I realize that it's gonna take some time so I'm uh, filming this video and uploading this first and I hope that the other video will make an appearance too. <laughs> a lot of things have been happening in my life, both good and bad, so I haven't done YouTube for a while, but I wanted to do kind of a life update at some point, but that's not what this video is. Um, I'm just apologizing in advance because um, I'm sitting just by the window, so you may hear the tram go by, so that's what the noise would be. But this video is about Witch Casket! I don't subscribe to Witch Casket every month, because I don't have any money, but um, when I get more money, I probably will because I love witch casket. I really wanted the October casket because I wanted to prep for Zawen. I have already opened this, so this is not like an unboxing. I'm not going to be all surprised and stuff because I know what's in it. I've actually used one of the items um, for Zawen, for my Zawen altar. But otherwise, I've kept everything inside just because I wanted to go through it before I started using it. And like, you know, I put one thing there, put one thing there, and then I don't know where everything is and I can't really do a video about it. So, I wanted to go through what is in the box. Oh, I can put that kind of like here. Oh, perfect. Oh, the couch is like a perfect place to keep it. The October Witch Casket was Samhain themed. You get a list of contents and it says that October's Witch Casket is here and there's no hiding the fact that it's Halloween Samhain this month. We really hope you love the vibe of this casket. We have so had so much fun putting it together for you all. And some other stuff. And I will put uh, Witch Casket social and everything down in the description box below. Also the website if you guys want to check it out because I really, really love them. This one, this is... A slate altar tile and this is the one that I did use for my Samhain altar um, this Samhain I I've had me and my husband we've had a lot of misfortunes this fall because uh, two of our rats passed away um, or had to be put down and it's a, been a really hard time so we decided or I decided that I wanted to honor them on my Samhain altar this year so I put um, some of their uh, food mix on this one as an offering um, and it was really, it was just really nice. Um, so I really loved using this tile for that. It's kind of, um, there's like felt underneath, so it's really nice. So I really like this. I'm gonna use this a lot, I think. Then we have some orange spell candles. Uh, I've actually not used a lot of spell candles before. I love candle magic, but for some reason I haven't really gotten into it. Like not with specific smaller spell candles. I've used like bigger block candles, but not like the smaller ones. And when we uh, went to London, I bought some spell candles there. And now I have a back pack of orange ones. So that's nice. Oh, and here I have some pumpkin spice tea. Um, I actually uh, got the last year's October casket too, I believe, but that wasn't sound themed and I was kind of disappointed because I got it for October because I wanted it to be sound themed, but it did contain pumpkin spice tea too. I did not enjoy it too much. I'll probably be gifting this to someone, um, but I mean, some people like pumpkin spice, some people don't. I don't, so I'm going to find someone that does. Here is an empowerment elixir kit. Uh, oh, geez. Um, so every um, every witch casket uh, contains like a spell kit or elixir or something. I believe I'm not sure, and I don't wanna sh uh, like spoil their exclusive stuff. So I haven't even like opened this because I wanna do it like by myself. 
but uh, it is an empowerment elixir kit and you also got this which I I'm not sure um, I think this is kind of a reference to Nightmare Before Christmas because it's a bottle that says frog's breath and I love that <laughs> um, I thought it was so cool and I'm always a sucker for some new bottles so I have a bottle uh, prepared for frog's breath and then this one this is a pouch and I believe it contained crystals or maybe this one contained crystals what did this one contain I, I'll notice um, but this one I'm pretty sure contains some crystals yes I usually um, get only like rough crystals. I never get the tumbled ones. Uh, I always associate better with the rougher ones. I don't know what the proper term is. Is it? It's tumbled. These are tumbled, right? And are the other ones rough? Let me know down in the comments if you know the terms better than I do. But um, I never like use the smooth ones. <laughs> But it's really nice to have some in my collection because then maybe I will start using them. So this is multi-banded agate uh, for protection, insomnia slash bad dreams and grounding. We have a silver leaf jasper for balance, grounding, stability and willpower. We have a leopard skin jasper for change, forgiveness, insecurity, anger management. Um, we have a green avent Aventurine, Aventurine, uh, which is for success, good fortune, prosperity, and independence, and a tiger's eye for confidence, charisma, power, and integrity. I think I'm one of the few witches that do not have a tiger's eye yet, uh, for some reason, and I'm really excited to have one now, because um, I wanted to work with tiger's eye, I think it's a really interesting and nice crystal. Um... So now I have one, thank you, witch casket. Like I said, I don't have a lot of money, but accidentally I did not cut off my um, subscription in time for November casket. So I actually will be getting, or I actually paid for a November casket too. So uh, if you enjoy me doing this, uh, give this video a like or let me know down in the comments. So. I can do the November one as well. I probably will anyway, but it would be nice to know it's appreciated. We have a sticker for Witch Casket. We have a like keychain. Wasn't a big fan of this one. I don't like plasticky looking things and um, I already have keychains and stuff and I wasn't the biggest fan of this, but uh, I like the pouch so that I'm happy with. Uh, so I probably will be gifting this as well, but it has like a, a black hat with a witch hat on it and that I love. Um, but I just wasn't a big fan of the plasticky look of the keychain. Um, and I have a pin here which says the resting witch face. And I have a sippy cup that says resting witch face from Killstar too. So now I have a pin. <laughs> oh, this one. This one I am a big fan of. I'm excited to start using this. So this is kind of an altar box and it is magnetic as you can see and it I mean it doesn't give room or a lot of stuff but um, I'm excited to use this because I think it's beautiful it's like carvings in here like I I think this is really beautiful and I really want to find something fun to do with this for my altar. So let me know down below if you have any ideas what I can do with this. Because I really want to use it. But I'm not sure for what. Then we got Trick or Treat Vegan Belgian Chocolate. If anyone is interested, this is all vegan. So good to know stuff. Oh yeah, and they always send um, some prints with the casket. I have two of my other prints up. Uh, by my desk and they are really pretty they're from tea cake art uh, i can link that down below as well and these are the this month's really halloweeny and i think i like i like them in different ways actually i like this one because it's really halloweeny but i think this one goes with a lot of like all year round in another way i like them both a lot then we have some incense and like 
when I smelled it like this, I did not care for the scent. But when I actually opened it and smelled one of the sticks, <laughs> one of the incense, like the actual incense, um, I enjoyed it. And I haven't burned it because, like I said, I've waited like to use all of this stuff to film this video. But here it is. Oh, that does smell really nice. So I'm really excited to get to try these. Then each um, witch casket also comes with like a scroll. Uh, last year, I believe, had like how to cast a circle. Um, and this year um, is like witchy tips and tricks for like everyday witchery and stuff. Um, but again, I'm not going to share what it actually says because it's like witch casket exclusive and I don't want to give away their content and stuff. Um, and I believe that is it. And also the mystery pouch, I think it contained like the pin or something. Whatever it was, I took it out, but um, I did go through the content list and I did get everything. So some, one of the things that I showed was in the pouch. Or maybe it was unused. No. I don't know, man. <laughs> so sorry if this video looked kind of weird. I just sat by the window. I just wanted to film it, kind of have a down-to-earth video, just go through the stuff. Um... And I'm really excited to just start making videos again. Um, if you guys want to see anything specific, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video.